Hello and welcome to Shettleson New Parish Church YouTube channel. This is part of the Thy Kingdom Come prayer initiative using the novena material written by the very Reverend Bob Key. Thy Kingdom Come is an opportunity in the days between Ascension Day and Pentecost to reflect and to pray for five people who we would like to see come to faith. It would be appropriate to begin just now in prayer, let us pray. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son to live among us. You sent your Son to die on the cross for us. You sent your Son to rise from the dead. He then walked the earth with his disciples again. We give thanks that he rose to be with you that we can join you there. We pray for our friends, our family who don't know you yet. May they draw closer and may we be a star to shine for you, to let them see the way to you. Almighty God, hear our prayer. Amen. Wednesday, 24th of May, day six. The God understands. 1 John chapter 4 verses 11 and 12. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. The disciples were not a naturally cohesive group of people. Left to themselves, they were unlikely to have chosen to set up business together or even share a holiday. Matthew was a tax collector working for the occupying Roman authorities. Simon the Zealot belonged to a group that opposed paying taxes to Caesar, some of whose members had been involved in a revolt. James and John partners in a family fishing business in Lake Galilee, known as Sons of Thunder, probably because of their fiery tempers and desire for power. This same John, who refers to himself as the disciple whom Jesus loved, in the gospel that bears his name, becomes the apostle of love in this letter. His life has been utterly transformed, his character turned inside out by his relationship with the Lord Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. We see divisions all around us. Gender, race, language, education, upbringing, nationality. Things that in themselves could contribute to the diversity of God's creation become grounds for misunderstanding, strife, enmity and even violence. Our Heavenly Father, like a master artist, has a palette of rich and varied colours which are designed to paint a beautiful picture of his creation, but which, in our sinfulness and selfishness, pride and fear, we fashion into an unholy mess. In this mess, so often, the poor pay the greatest price of our inability to be God's reliable gardeners in his world. John calls us in today's verse, to be defined by the love of God, not by anything else. St Paul puts it very plainly in Galatians chapter 3 verse 28. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Pray that your five may find their identity in who they are in Christ. Living the kingdom must mean building churches and communities where love one another doesn't mean merely liking people who are like us. <clears throat> we are called to something much more radical, much more attractive. We are designed to be a community of servants, serving and being served by each other across all man-made barriers that so often divide and discriminate. Let us close our time this morning in prayer. Let's pray. Loving God, be with those five names that we say in the silence.
May they know you. May they find their way to you. And may we in our small part show the way to you, God. Amen.